Let's go. Hello, everybody. I want. I need to finish the playground because I have not finished the playground. I'm seventy percent done, and I had to really rush and like, ooh, <laughs> really, really rush last uh, on Saturday. But now we can finish it off. We've still got plenty of time to finish it off. So let's do this. Let's do it. I need. It's just like the upper parts. I think I need to do now. I need to also refresh myself on what I have done. I think it's just like the jungle gym area that I haven't done. But we'll, 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 we'll double check. Yeah, I've not done. I, I've done like half of the jungle gym. So I've done like this section. Let's do the inside of the. Let's do this. Oh god, I forgot how loud it is. We'll do the inside and just see if we can get. We might have to get something for the um, the, the sun thing. We might have to get like a, a ladder or something. Because there's only so much we can do. Okay, that is. Get this scent of it. Because it's. Come on! Hello? Clean, will you? There we go. Well, can I just sit here and go, we? Oh, I can vibe. It's okay. We can, we can get the inside of the roof. We. Again, good old, good old, fifteen degree nozzle doing God's work. We. A tab. Oh, we still got some. Here we go. Move over a little bit and we can go wee. Go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. There we go. Wee. Here we got that section done for now. Is that a quick scene from this angle? Ooh. Okay, now we can do this side. Whee. We can get all of it. I thought I should climb onto the roof to do the last bit of it. Oh, there was hidden muck. How dare it. How dare it have hidden muck. There we go. How dare it have hidden muck. We can get all of this. I want this section to be fully done before I go on to the next. So what I need is the ladder. Where is it? Where is the ladder? It's here. Let's go shove it over here. Not here. Because then we can clean the outside of it all. Here. I can park all, have to go park all, let's go! We can get the roof. Whee! This is probably not the most efficient a way to do the roof. Because it's just going to get stuck under all the grooves. Why do they have to put grooves on it? They have to be a pain, don't they? There we go, let's... I still can't get access to it. And I don't want to fall off. That would be bad. At least it knows that I am worried about falling off. Is it 
let's do this. Because i got to do the other side after this as well. Get all the dirt that I can. Make sure I've got most of under the grooves. Hopefully it'll be give me the serotonin thing. And we won't have to worry! Yay! Ooh. I've McFallen! Okay, I'm gonna require that ladder to be here. You can give me the circle you want. Whee. Whee. Spinny boy. Okay. Wait, have I? Okay, let me get this. Got this. This is embarrassing. Hold on, let me move this to the other side and then get the. Oh god, my computer is starting to. Hi! I'm doing well! How are you? How are you doing? Give me. Oh, I'm off today, so I don't. I was working yesterday though, which is why I didn't stream. Where's the dirt on the... Oh, it's on the inside. There we go, we got that clean. Let's go! Can I put the long nozzle on? Oh, yeah, I'm in work tomorrow. I don't want to be in work, but... Can... Can I have the long range one? With the 15 degree nozzle, please? Yeah, I was on work yesterday because I work Sundays like a, like a, a fool. But you know what? I don't mind. Sundays are... Sundays are chill because, again, less hours. But it's also like, and I was in alone, which was a pain. I hate being on shift alone. It is like the worst thing. Okay, I need, I need you. Up here. Yeah. Normally there's someone in, but they were not in, which was it, which sucked. I have to stay there. They, yeah. I was fine. I had to do the entire, like, we have something called, like, change over all the posters and stuff. I had to do that by myself. But I managed to get it done. Which was good. I am, I am determined when it comes to, um, in work, like, I'm fine being okay on my own. It's just, I don't like being alone with my own thoughts. But, uh, I was in, like, a group chat, so, like, it was, and there was, there was chat in that all day, so I ended up being alright. But how dare my colleague go see Beyonce? Like, how dare she? <laughs> I'm joking, you, you can go to concerts. Uh, you can go to concerts, it's okay. How dare you guys be going to a concert instead of watching me? I'm joking. Like, please go enjoy yourself. Oh, ah! Come on, get all the dirt off this. 
I think next weekend I want to start playing Slime Rancher and then we can alternate like what we're doing. Mine works actually pretty chill like there's no one really that is like there's no one that is like oh we did the roof let's go that is like worse than the other we're all just like pretty we're all, we're all pretty chill I'm just checking things. okay let's do this bridge like I've had people that I really have just liked working for and some of them like I've, I've, I've hung out outside of work like me and one of the girls went to, ended up going getting sushi and like going to the arcade together and it was really nice like some of them I've, i'm like i'd happily be friends with and then there's some that are just like that i've just not spoke to again and there's some that i would have happily been friends with but then you know just kind of drifted but i think that's what you get when you're in like a small team like what at maximum there's been like six of us on the department and you only work with like one other person so you really get to know them so like my, I've got I've gone through like four managers now and like some of them are really nice and I'd happily like like I'll ask about their days like they've watched stuff so that they can one of them's watched things so that, that we can talk about it so I have had some good managers. I've also had some appalling managers, like the manager that decided to leave his sweaty broken shoes in the stock room for three months. Three months. I still like he was he, he was training to be a manager and he left his sweaty shoes in the cupboard. Also, he only had one suit, so it would never get washed. So he just like put deodorant over it and it was oh my god i'm so glad I'm, i don't work in his store that was so many well yeah yeah luckily he works in a different store now he doesn't work where i work now which is great Oh, we're gonna get this. Oh, oh, did you hear? Ah! Sorry, the just the, the serotonin of ding, 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 ding. Serotonin. I need to figure out where the dirt is, because one of these is... Like this one is... Oh, it's still got... Are these all done? That one's done, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. That one's done, that one's done. Okay, sweet. Oh, we can... There's no winner? That's disappointing. How can nobody win knots and crosses? Oh, yeah. I'm glad that that manager I don't have to work with anymore. Um... We did have one manager that um, told people that he was work. He was like having to manage two stores, and at one point he told people he was in one store, told the other people in that store that he was in the store I worked at, and he was in Neva store. He was um, doing his side job, which was a personal trainer, so he was just basically having like us all on, and somehow didn't get fired for that. I just want to point out he never got fired. He ended up getting a job at a bigger store. Because it's like, we're like inside, side, like, we're one of the departments inside a, like a, a supermarket. And he got a job in one of the bigger supermarket, like, stores. 
and then quit a week after getting the job. He hadn't even moved the, and introduced himself to the people because um, he got an office manager job and then he ended up quitting that to become a personal trainer. But imagine being personal trained by some like really shitty Brendan Yori lookalike. That's what it was. Oh, yes. Serotonin, give me it. Give me the serotonin. Yes. That was so satisfying. Oh. Uh, serotonin. But yeah, he was he he was a very he he looked a bit like Brendan Yori, but if Brendan Yori had a beard. That's the vibes I got from him. Like Brendan Yori, if Brendan Yori grew facial hair. He'd also stand at the front, of, like the our department, because we were like in a sales based section, and um, he'd give out like leaflets to women he thought would hot, just so he could strike up a conversation with them. And I was sat there being like, "Hmm, that's a bit sketch. Not gonna lie." That is a bit sketchy. Okay, let's clean that. the ceiling of this. We can I do this? Yes, I can do this without having to move. Yeah, boy. So yeah, every everyone has like their um. The watch my call it if they can like they're good managers and bad managers. Like, one of the bad managers got chewed out by the, by the deputy store manager. And, like, deputy store manager is actually, like, he would never swear in front of customers. But he swore in front of customers at him because my colleague was on the floor scrubbing it on her hands and knees. And he was like, what do you think you're doing? Because he was sat on his phone. And I get that. I work in a phone shop, but... He was like, oh, message in the group chat. And he was like, no, you're not. I can tell by the smile on your face. You're not. It's nothing to do with work. And I was just like, hmm, whoa. Get wrecked, mate. Oh. So. Imagine if I get another job. It Like, I won't have that kind of, like, manager relationship. Like, with, like, some of the managers I've had. Which is a shame. Because again, some of the people I've like dealt with and like have worked with have been absolutely lovely. I would absolutely like go out with them. Like I have been out with some of them. We went to Nando's once with a group with, with as my manager, the manager of another store who I used to work with before he became a manager. And we went to Nando's, and then we went to see the original Aquaman. That's how long ago this was. <laughs> we were gonna go bowling, but again, manager of other store was he? He moans everything. He's like one of those people that moans everything, and he just flat out refused to go bowling, so we just didn't go bowling. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Oh god, twenty eighteen was five years ago. That sucks. 2018 was five years ago. Jesus. That means I've been engaged for like five, six years now. I've been engaged for so long now. I'm gonna out that I got engaged way before I became a VTuber. Like, to think that I've been doing this, I think it'll be three years in November. Which is just like, Jesus crack. I meant to say like, Jesus like fuck, but then my brain went crap. But then crack and fuck went to cr- I mean crap and fuck went to crack, as in the drug. Um, I am a normal person. Yes, we got that condom. Are we gonna get this one done? Come on. 
Why is this column not done? Oh, I haven't done the outside of it. Let's do the outside of all the columns so that I can get, again, free serotonin from this game. Because that's all I ever want. It's all I ever wanted. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, we'll have to get the long one to do that. The fact that a guy did a song about how much he loved playing Dota, but the not Dota 2, Dota 1, still boggles me, and that was like early 2000s. We love Base Hunter. We stand Base Hunter. He like translated them to English and changed the entire meaning of the song. So there was a song called Doa. I can't remember what it was called in in the UK, but it was like, was it When You're Gone? Oh, no, no, okay, okay, hold on. I need to Google this. Yeah, he did a song called Doa. And it literally was about, about that. Um... <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the english song was all i ever wanted but it was it was a song about dota which is actually from warcraft and then they made it an actual game oh okay the more you know the more you know i also just need to open whatsapp on like the web whatsapp on the top because like just in case i get any important work stuff we're interviewing someone at the moment so because one of the girls is moving to the clothing department let me let me just okay i'll i'll, I'll let that load up we'll carry on cleaning Wrong button again. Yeah, that's what I just saw. And I, so like, it, but Dota Two is its own game, isn't it? I don't know. I've literally never played. The only MOBA that I played was Smite. I played Smite a little bit, but not loads. And I also played Heroes of the Storm, but that was only to get the free D.Va skin. That was literally the only reason why. That, that was the only reason why I played that. We want to, there we go. Let's do the floor. Yes, be clean, be clean. Be clean, my pretties. There we go. Let's clean the column. There we go. Let's clean this column. There we go, that one's clean, that one's clean. Let's clean this. There we go. Now I just need to clean the sun. Da 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 da. I need to clean the other set. Let me just... Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. 
Yeah, to be fair, I'm just not good at anything competitive. Like, I play Overwatch, but I'd only play Mystery Heroes or, like, Quick Play. But then even Quick Play got too bad because people got really competitive in Quick Play. And I was just like, but let me just play the character I want. I don't care if I win or lose. I just want to have fun until I lose about f ten times in a row. And it's not my fault. And then I'm like, what are you doing to me? Ooh. Hey, can I have the ladder, please? What? I want it here. Okay, we got the sun done. We. So that sun. That sun's done. Okay, that's. Can I can I move this, please? It's it's actually like quarter past one right now, uh, like PM. I did. Get, I I have been up. I have. I got up. I think around like half nine or so, which is a lot later than I usually get up. I'm not like I'd happily stay in bed until twelve, but I had so much I needed to do. Like, I needed to um, go to the, again, go to the local supermarket because I forgot to ask to pick Sutton up yesterday when my partner came in shopping. Because my room was like, we're having curry. I should make the naan breads. So I forgot to ask for yogurt to make naan breads because there weren't many in. So... I made some last time, but I'm not making garlic ones this time. I'm just making regular ones. Because I love baking. And it, like... <laughs> we get, like, these recipe facts. And it really, like... Like... My partner's the type of person that'll, like, add extra things in. To, like, recipe facts and stuff like that. But my brain goes... But that's not what the recipe says. So that's why I like baking because if you like you have to do it like pretty precise otherwise it just doesn't you just you're just not like the recipe could like really mess up and I am like a very precise person like <laughs> I want the cakes to rise properly like if I do this instead they're not it's not gonna rise properly so Whereas he'll be like, hey, why don't I put this bok choy in this yakisoba? And I'm like, sat there being like, but that's not what the recipe says. I'm absolutely, like, I'm, I'm the worst. I'm probably the worst person to cook with. Because I have to do everything, like, everything down to, like, if it's being timed, I need to be like, okay, that says 20 minutes. Let me put the alarm on for 20 minutes. Let me do this. Let me do that. I am... I'm very specific. I would love to do a cooking stream once, just so everyone can see me like absolutely fly. All because if I've got to like do like get, take like five things off at once, I start panicking and I get really stressed. But I reckon it'd make a fun stream. But I'd have to figure out how to do that without like you know, showing my face or anything like that. Can I can I move please? There we go. It's like, I like cooking, but I also really love a takeaway as well. Like, I freaking love a takeaway. Like, I was so hungry last night. I was considering, like, ordering a full-on, like, waffle to my house. And I knew, like, I would have... Like, if I said, oh, hey, like, I'm getting a waffle delivered to the house, my partner would have been like, no, you're not. It's nine o'clock at night, and I'm sat there being like, well, I really, really want one. So I am just the worst person to be around with food. Honestly, because I, I will just... If he wasn't there, I would have literally just ordered myself a waffle. Or at least looked at the menus until I've convinced myself that I do not need one because of the prices of them. I am an absolute gremlin sometimes. Absolute gremlin. Let's see. 
let's clean this bridge. Cause I want the dings to go ding ding ding. Yes! The serotonin! Still need to clean the insides of these. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give I don't know what happened to this playground. It might be something to do with, at some point, um... Okay, so we're in the middle of the thing, but in some of them, there is a massive smoking volcano. And I'm sat here being like, why aren't these guys evacuated? I swear there was this whole, like... I, I Like, I don't watch Game Fury much because, honest to God, like, map... I used to watch them a lot, but the map, as soon as the Five Nights at Freddy's came out, it was all that. And um, I was just like, mm -hmm, no, not about that. No more Five Nights at Freddy's, please. Um... But I watched one video, this was like after I had like gone through my map party, like game theory phase, and it was like a whole theory on like why is it so dirty and it was like sudden sudden big volcano. Okay. Oh. still dirt somewhere here. Oh where's the dirt? this one okay there we go so i'm guessing that's what it is i have no idea i'm just assuming there's a volcano i'm pretty sure it's on the xbox game pass um i'm pretty sure it's on switch as well i mean i have a gaming laptop that i bought with my uni money when I was in uni because I needed it. I imagine it's on there as well. And then, um, cause you know, and then, um, yeah, so I bought this with my uni money that I got given. Cause you get like given a grant if you're like under a certain amount. And I like oh, my university, bless them. They tried, they really tried. I feel like I took, got told none. They were supposed to be doing like a whole ass like character, like creation unit. And how to model characters and um, my lecture was like oh if you want to know how to read topology your face or watch a youtube video about it so i never learn i never learn but it was such a small uni so um when we were the first year to do it we didn't have a classroom they had to like trans change the library into being a classroom and then um, we didn't have graphics tablets, even though our first unit was about like st like drafting, like storyboard art, and, like like the draft like concept art kind of stuff. So we had to have an extension on our first ever deadline because they ne didn't order the graphics tablets. Like it took them like like two months to order graphics tablets, and we're like, when are we getting them? And then we had this one guy who was teaching us how to use Maya. Um, for some reason, he really didn't like me. And I want to point out that it's probably because I have, like, I, I will admit, like, normally I am quite, like, I'm quite cheerful, like, joyful. Um, he sometimes, for some reason, just didn't like that. Like, me and this one girl, he really despised me for some reason. Even though, like, I was being like, okay, is this, like, I will get down and actually do work and stuff. It's not like I was some, like, you know, some person who didn't like it. And it's like, he couldn't hide it. Because, again, eight people in our class, which is very good for a university. Sorry, I need a drink. Oh no, I've dropped the lid. Ah, bear with me. I gotta try him. Let me get it. Hello, I'm back. I mean, he was like, 
he worked he was more like a visual effects guy and he'd worked on the likes of i dropped my bottle then um this guy he worked for a company called frame store which did a lot of the cgi stuff in movies so like he worked on that one was it oh, what was it it was a movie and they were stuck in space as like space in like spacesuits and floating around was that was that interstellar was it gravity i don't know um he worked on that movie anyway yeah so he brought brought into teachers and again yeah like me and my friend friend in uni we got 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 along together like peas in a pod um so yeah, we were like we'd joke while we're working but we'd get the work done like and pointing out like i could normally get a, a lot of the work done pretty quickly i think it's interstellar yeah he worked on that um but like whenever he saw me he was like oh god they i can't believe you're in again and i was just like well thanks rude it made me like not want to go in so yeah and then we got the final lecturer and he was an absolute sweetheart he 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 was an absolute sweetheart he was from malaysia he's from kuala lumpur and he was so he was so lovely I, 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 I still love him. He was like the best lecturer ever. As much as he didn't teach us that much. Because we'd already like had him. Like got taught most of the stuff. But you know still. Absolute sweetheart. Couldn't hurt a fly. He was not secretly in love with me. He was again. I was like 20 at the time. He must have been in his 40s. He had a wife and a kid. It'd be a bit sauce if he was in love with me. But no, he was like, oh, here, I've got a challenge for you. Um, and she brought us all Kinder Eggs in. And he, he, he bought each of us a Kinder Egg. And he was like, you're going to 3D model the toy that's in it. And all I got was, I got like this Barbie one. And all I had, like, I was trying to like model it. And all I got was Barbie's legs. So I have a 3D model somewhere of just Barbie's legs. Just as you do. Sometimes you just gotta have some of Barbie's legs, like just to just to vibe with. <laughs> Honestly, I think he saw me because I again because of the like joyful nature that I have. Um, he probably thought I, like, I, I am not mature in the slightest. That's probably what he didn't like. But it was the fact that I literally, like, complained to, like, the other people being like, he treats me like such a child. And yet I get that I am, like, thingy, but it's, it, it's like, I'm incapable and it makes me not want to go in. So, it was very disappointing. I was so glad when he was gone, but he was such a nice guy. Like, I actually liked him. He was such a nice guy, but he just didn't like me. Is it, what are the climb going on? Hold on, let me. So just a bit rude if you ask me. Like I did like everything to like try and be good. And again, it's not like I'm, I, I. Mm -hmm. Again, I still got the work done. Like, I still had quite a high grade. I just liked having a bit of a chat. Like, with my friend who, like, again, it's the first time I'd ever been the chatty kid in class. I was normally the shy one. But there was only eight of us. So, like, if you if you were talking to one person, you'd be, like, doing saying, like, the odd joke and be like, oh, hey, look at this. Because at one point we did accidentally animate um, the, the animation broke and it looked like Spider-Man was sucking himself off. Um, because <laughs> it just kept flickering him, like, and it's, like, spine bent and all. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But I could be serious, that's the problem. I could be serious. I was just... 
He just didn't like me. And it really wore me down, like... I need to do that top bit from the roof. Where is the ladder? There we go. Get clean. Yeah, I hate people like that as well. Like, yeah. No, I get that completely. Uh, yeah, I hate people who are like, oh, you can't draw like that. That's not like art. And I'm sat there being like, it's art if I say it's art. I made this. I drew this. Some people just be haters. Some people just be haters. My, my, my last lecturer, again, absolutely lovely. He was like the permanent one that was hired on. Um, he was such a weeb as well. Like, he'd talk about my hero and like anime and like, and everything. And he'd like, he, he knew the show that I used to cosplay from. And he was like, oh my god, you could do this, you could do that. If he knew I was a VTuber now, he'd probably be my biggest fan. Yeah, art is subjective. I, uh, I get people, like, uh, there's so much art in the world. Like, what are you doing? You can't just be so, like, tone deaf with it all. I guess some teachers are like kind of marked on that though. Like they've got to teach art in school and they've got to teach like art history between a few artists I can get if they're like saying oh you have to do like an impressionist like you've got to like copy like someone's style. Like say if it is like a um like a well-known artist like say if you've got to do like a, an impression of like a, a Van Gogh painting or something like that like I can get that. Or say you've got to do like, I don't know. I can get like sometimes where like, say if the assignment in school is like, is you've got to do like this one thing and it's got to be inspired by this person. I just remember, yeah, yeah, I get that. I just remember one of the art things that we had in school is we had to, um, I can't remember what it was, but we had to, like, make something and have it have creepy spider legs coming out of it. So what did my brain do? I had, like, this miffy teddy. And, um, I was like, okay, I could use that to, um, my brain was like, so it's got to be a creepy spider thing. So, like, use the coat hangers to, like, make the spider legs. Gonna come coming out of this miffy teddy that has got half its ear, like, falling off and stuff like that it was great but i was off a lot so i never got to finish it i can't even remember who we were trying to like it like who who that was based on i just remember creepy spider teddies were just getting hung around the classroom yeah creepy spider teddies hung around the classroom can i use the 30 on it yes it works. Clean for me. Let's see if we can stand still and just wee. Yeah, I feel like art teachers, they've got to like, I can get it. But a lot of art teachers are like, especially like fine art, traditional teachers are like, you know, like cartoons are bad and not art, but it's still, it's still art. You're still making something that people is going to enjoy. And is that not the point of art? Yeah, it's all in the past. The best thing you can do to art teachers is just be like, hey, well, look at this. I'm popular. You can get absolutely riggedy riggedy wrecked. Uh, 
The best thing is to prove them wrong. suck and that's that's all i'm gonna say schools suck um yeah schools they suck they suck made a pee pee poo poo and they don't deserve the they need more funding because the fact that the arts are underfunded is very bad. Like, if a kid wants to do music, why can't they do music? I think in the UK it's not too bad, but say if you want to learn an instrument, you've got to, like, get, like, professional art, like, music classes from, like, the, the council. The, the, the council are the people that bring the teachers in to the schools. It's not the schools. So you've kind of like screwed in that sense. Which sucks. But hey ho, there's only there's only so much you can do. Schools be schooling. I was always jealous of the music kids though, because they got to get out a lesson to do their music. The, the the like they got to get out of like science to go like play the trumpet or something like that. And I was so jealous of that. Until I like accidentally signed up to be in choir, and um, yeah, did not mean to do that. And then I did drama, and they convinced all the drama students to learn how to do musical theatre so that they could perform musical theatre by going around um, France. So I had a school holiday to France where we performed musical theatre like Bugsy Malone in Greece. Yet I'm still not good at singing. But it's okay because we were in a group. And who else can say that they perform musical theatre at Disneyland? Like Disneyland Paris. So. I love telling that story. And they're like you did what? And I'm like hell yeah I did. That doesn't mean I'm good at anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm competent. That doesn't mean like I am going to be on like stage again. Also I had like very last minute thoughts about not wanting to do that trip. Because I... None of my actual friends were going. I was like the only one out of my friends who were like did drama. Uh, mainly because a lot of them had like a lot of bad PTSD from the drama teacher back in year seven when they tried to put on a performance of um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and he scared away all the year sevens who joined so they didn't have enough cast. So we just cancelled it. Also, I got a cast as Augustus Gloop's mum, and he was like, you're gonna have to do a German accent, and I'm sat there being like, you expect me to do a German accent? And he's like, you're on the German side of the year, aren't you? Because, like, they had, like, two sides of the year, one did German and one did, um, one did German, one did, um, French. And he was like, see me learning German, you can do a German accent, and I was like, you what, mate? You expecting me to do a German accent? So yeah. That was my school experience. I did also get to go to Switzerland to see the Large Hadron Collider and that was that. I tell you what, that is like one of my best memories from school. Apart from the fact that it was with my ex and my ex was a bit, um, a bit, you know. Oh, I don't know. 
have to talk about that. Now we're almost finished. We are almost finished. We need to get to the top of the monkey bars. It sounds like you're calling a cat. Are you like, psh, 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 come here? Come on, let's clean all these monkey bars. I don't. I, <laughs> I have. I have probably one of the worst British accents in, um, like, where I, where I am from probably has, like, the worst, like, probably voted the worst accent, like, I'm from Liverpool, and people from Liverpool, um, We don't, we have the, we have the, probably what is voted the worst accent, most, like, potentially. Okay, so if we, we need the climbing pole bar. Oh, here. So, when people say they love my accent, I'm like, how? <laughs> okay, we want the... Tower level, this one, there we go. And then we just need the tower trim. Which one is it? It's supposed to be flashing. Where is it? Is it like... That's it's one of these ones down here? Oh, there it is. They got job complete. We did it. In fact, I'm not. Luckily, like it's not strong my accent. Yeah, we did it. We got it. Um, how long have we got? About an hour and fifteen. That's going to take you long. Let's clean the dirt bike and see if we can get some little jobs. See if we can get some little jobs. <laughs> we have to go to a new place. We're going to clean the dirt bike. Yeah, I am. Um... You got to think, like, how the beetle sounds is how I'm supposed to sound. And, but, and, and they're not even, like, truly, like, their accent is not even that bad either. Like, their accident is also pretty tame. So. Ding, ding, ding. So, we, yeah. If you had a look at, like, worst accents in, like, l hold on, hold on. Let me, let me Google worst British accent. Oh god, I've been sent a voice note and I can't really like play that. Um Worst British accent. Not by American actors, I just want to see the worst. 
<laughs> you go for the best and worst British accents. I want to see, um, oh god, ex agree, agree, give me, um, I just want to see a, let, let's, uh, if we, Okay, okay, according to the 2014 study, my accent's not the worst. Um, it's, it's Birmingham's that is like the, the worst. I guess mine is like a bit above that. Wah! Um, okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, so prestige rating. I don't know what points these are off, but it has Birmingham as 3.2, Liverpool as 3.28. So, you know, we got that 0.8. <laughs> I wonder if I can. This is. Let me, let me turn the display capture on. There we go. This is what I'm looking at right now. Hello? Would... So, this is like accent bias in the UK. This this bottom one, this one is what I'm from. Um, so we apparently ours is worse than like. It's worse than it's one of the worst accents. But again, my accent is really, really, really like tame compared to like an actual like Liverpool accent. Um, I wonder if I can if we go to YouTube. Uh, please ignore my YouTube recommendations. This is on my um. This is, this is on my regular YouTube, but if I search Scouse, Fireman, Sam, oh, Scouse, Finding Nemo, this is what we're going to see. We're going to see Scouse, we, we've got, yeah. Oh, should we go for Scouse? Let's go for, let's go for Scouse, Finding Nemo. And you, you just got to trust me. Going on, lad. Oh my God, come have a look at this. I'm going to have to put the subtitles on, otherwise you... That's right, I'm a fucking big dirty old shark. Now get on me. Yeah, I'll pass you now. Listen, me and the boys are having a party like, do you want to uh, come along and I'll smash your fucking brains in? Scouse. <laughs> this isn't even like, I've seen people, heard people with worse accents than this. Oh my god, look at the size of these blooms here. They're not ordinary blooms, you know. Once they pop, shit gets fucking messy. <laughs> I I don't know how do I explain the Bur Birmingham accent? Um It's Peaky Blinders. That's what it is. It's like Peaky Blinders is like Yeah, so it's like let me let me put the game back on. So like the Burmy accent is like just really monotone, whereas Scouse is really like, I I'll kill you, I'll, I'll shank your nan kind of stuff. Like I'm not I'm not joking. Like I have heard people. I I have heard that being said. You know, just just, as you do, you just hear like, oh oh, shut up, I'll shank your nan. I mean, yeah, we are, Liverpool is pretty, like, similar to islands. Like, if we, if Liverpool could not be part of the, part of the UK, I think we'd, we'd actually enjoy that. No one hates the UK more than a Scouser. Like, we have been, like, historically, like, we have voted against, um... Like, you, you, the last few elections, like, you have, like, the red party and the blue party. And the blue party are, like, again, um, how do I explain this? They're, like, your, your, your right-leaning, like, politicians. And we literally had a rave in the city centre and it was, fuck the Tories! And it was, um, yeah. So, that's the kind of thing that 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 we do 
we we hate a lot of the government. They underfunded us like massively. Hello? Where is the dirt? Okay. What is the furring? Oh, yeah, because Constantine's Scouse, isn't it? And it really annoys me. Like, as much as Keanu Reeves is Constantine, but, like, they made him... He, he did a New York accent, didn't he? I don't know. I have not... I have not, um... Let's have, let's have a look at... He... I have not seen him. He is Welsh, so he... Um, let's have a look at videos. Yeah, Keanu Reeves probably. Let's, let's have a look. Um... Let's go to YouTube. Also, funnily enough, I was googling it and Constantine has the same birthday as me. Let's let's have a look. If I go back to display capture, it is it's this one, isn't it? Let's have a look. Welcome to our channel next on Netflix, and let's discuss Constantine. I don't want to discuss Constantine. I just want to. I don't give a. Um. I just I just want to hear him talk. Okay, okay, let's hear it. Is this a good enough trailer? Okay, okay, let's just hear him talk. He's Welsh, so if you can't do a good... That's a bit weird. Okay, he's doing more of a Welsh accent. He's not really doing a Scouse one. Disappointed. I want a Scouse actor doing Scouse. I, I, I've said this ever since I found out that he was Scouse. I was like, why not get a Scouse actor? Sorry, his, the accent just really threw me. Like, my brain was just like, I do not like that. I was like, my brain, brain was like, it needs to be Scouse. It needs to be Scouse. Okay, let's clean the golf cart now. Like, <laughs> we don't, I know we don't have many, but like, we do have some good Scouse accents. Okay, okay. Have you ever seen Doctor Who? I, I just need to know, have you seen any of the recent Doctor Who, like with the, with, with the, with the, the girl doctor? Because if, if we're going to talk Scouse accents, we need to talk about the guy who has, like, probably... No, um... I wonder if I can find him in Doctor Who, because... He, he was in Doctor Who. Like, there's this, um... Because they had um, a Scouse actor on Doctor Who, and it was this guy. Again, this is Liverpool. You know, my city. Not this guy. He's a little bit scouse, but John Bishop is very, very scouse. You're lucky numbers 13. Be prepared for action. And whatever hurdles come your way, just remember, it's not the end of the world. Okay, you're gonna... You're not even gonna show me him talking? You're not even gonna show me him talking? I wanted to... I wanted people to hear him. Okay, his is like behind the scenes video, so you can hear and be like really scouse. I put again. Th yeah, this is this is proper scouse. He is very scouse. Okay, let's 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 go ahead a little bit. Okay, so that's like. Yeah, that's he plays Dan in um, Doctor Who, which is like one of the companions. Did I even have it on? Oh, it's a display capture. It's okay, um, he played it in like the most recent like series. Um, so that was like he he got shipped with a giant dog guy. Um, 
and he had like a talk show that he was hosting and he actually put a, a like a like he found a video of like him and the dog guy um like you know making out and he put he, he showed that on his show just just as you do but he's like very scouse he's like probably one of the scousest like um watch me call it but also fun fact the doctor with the giant you know the giant scarf the fourth one he's also a scouse we start we sc like like we've we've got some good actors elizabeth slayton sarah jane she was scouse Like, we have some... I mean, Rick Astley from Lancashire, very close to Liverpool. So, do I count him as a bit Scouse? Yeah, Rick Astley is a bit, bit Scouse. He's from... I think he's from, like, Lancashire. He's some part of Lancashire. Let me... Hello? hello? Can I get on the, on the roof, please? Oh, yeah, he is. I, I didn't realise he was Scouse. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna Google Scouse actors now. Um, celebrities from Liverpool. Again, we've got the entirety of the Beatles. Um, okay, a list of people from Merseyside. Um, they're all in alphabetical order. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I didn't realise he was Scouse. We've got... Yeah, there's a lot of people that are quite Scouse. And you'd never think. But most of them are footballers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to know someone who's Scouse, who was born in Liverpool? Freaking, freaking um, Jason Isaacs, a.k.a. Um, Lucius Malfoy's dad. He was born in Liverpool. I think he ended up like going to London and stuff like that. That's why he doesn't have the accent. But you know. We got some claims to fame. M mainly the Beatles. But you know. Mm -hmm. Is that alloy wheel? Yeah. Which alloy wheel is it? Let's see if we can get all the small jobs done until it gives me a large job. Okay, we we got we got that done. That, that was done pretty quickly. Um, continue. Now we have to do it. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. It's got to be a different Tom Hardy. Let me go back. No, 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 there's not a Tom Hardy. Um, again, we do have, again, we have some good, good people. Um, most of them are UK thingy, they're not like big, big. Um, like one of the, to be fair, I'm pretty sure most of the Spice Girls are from, where was she from? She's from London. One of the Spice Girls was Scouse. Was it Mel C? Yeah, one of the, she was from she, again. She's from Merseyside, which you know counts as being a bit Scouse. Really, wait, where's Victoria Beckham from? Tom Hardy isn't. But we, we've got some Scouse people. I mean, also, we hosted Eurovision this year, so... Get wrecked, rest of the world. Um, I'm looking here. And a lot of them are just, hey, here's one of the Beatles. Here's one of, one of these. Um, here's that. Let me see if I can search actor. Okay, won't know him, won't know him, won't know him. I don't... Tom Baker, yeah, I don't know them. Um, I'm just, like, looking to see if there's any actors that I actually know. Oh, we had the guy out of Red Dwarf. He was... 
He was, yeah, so one of the guys at a red dwarf was Scouse. Um, don't know him. Oh yeah, Daniel Craig was very, was lived in Liverpool, but he was on the like the other side of the river, which means he's a he's a wolf, um, as you do. Okay, I've got an hour. Oh, we can try and do this in an hour. We're not going to be able to do it in an hour, but we can we can at least start this house. Yeah, so Daniel Craig, aka James Bond, he was from the Wirral, which is like over the River Mersey. But he did like study in Liverpool, so that counts, even though he is a wool. And a wool is a term for someone who is a fake scouser. And someone asked me that in the street when I was in the city centre. And he was like, oh, explain to these guys what a wool is. And I went, a fake scouser. And the guy looked absolutely, he was like, I'm, I'm, he was like, I'm a wool, explain what a wool is to these guys. And I was like, a fake scouser. And the guy looked absolutely defeated. It was the funniest shit ever. Like, I fucking absolutely ruined this man. And, like, Danny, I mean, my partner, sh you didn't hear that, um, was absolutely sobbing. Hey, I don't think Henry... No, Henry Cavill, he is... Where is he from? I want to say London. I want to say London. I know he's from Jersey. No wonder he's so posh. No wonder he's so posh. Jersey is like an island like to the south that is like almost near France. And it doesn't get counted as like, it does not get counted as like, say if you're in the UK and you're going to Jersey, it gets counted as like as international like text messages and stuff like that. Like, it does not count as, like, it does not count. Like, you've just got some places in the UK and it's just like, yeah, that does not count as the UK. Because, like, especially by people in the UK. Like, if you're going on, like, going to, like, some places, they're like, yeah, that's international roaming for some reason you're gonna have to pay extra like there's a tiny island um like in between uh, like where i am and um like actual islands called the isle of Wight, or is it isle of man i think it's the isle of man yeah we produce some nice uh, we, we produce some good actors I thought henry cavill and the witcher was so good but i don't know how they're gonna do him because he's not gonna be because obviously he's, um, whatchamacallit, he's stopping me playing um, Geralt and I don't know how they're going to do that. And to be fair, half of the half of the actors, hi Dagger, half of the actors in The Witcher, like, I recognised one of them, I think it was, was it Triss? Was she the one with like the afro hair? Hold on, I need to now Google this. Um. I think it was Triss. Yeah, Triss. Um, the actor for Triss. Um, the actress for Triss. I'd seen her, like, in, like, a soap that is, like, like, one of, like, the, like, you know, the afternoon, like, TV shows where it's just, like, hey, there's this one place and all the drama goes there. It was, like, a show called Hollyoaks. And, like, one of the guys who was also a mage, I recognised him as, like, th this is, like, a really niche role that he did. But like I, it was like a kids show that I watched religiously and he was in that. And I was like, hold on, that's the Van Helsing guy from, from Young Dracula? Which again, that was such a good show. They filmed that some of that in Liverpool. Oh, I'm absolutely ruining this driveway. How about we do, do it this way. We. So yeah, you'd be surprised from like who was from, um, from the UK. I know, 
I just don't know how they're gonna do it because obviously like are they gonna like give him some like magic plastic surgery what what are they gonna do wait who is playing the new girl haven't they announced the actor who was taken over different universe but it's season three it's not it's like oh yeah liam hemsworth are they gonna again is it gonna be like a prequel series or something yeah L liam hemsworth was in your hunger games wasn't he is gail The great, greatest fun fact that is in like Thor Love and Thunder, the girl is actually his daughter and now he gets to act beside his daughter. Which I think is the cutest thing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he'll be good. We can only hope, and hopefully they work it into the story well. But to be fair, I'd also never watched any of the games. And I only watched it because um, my partner's mum actually watched it. And she was like really into it because she loves fantasy shows like that. A show I really swear by, What We Do in the Shadows, that's got like most, like half the, the cat, well, the three main. You got Nando, Nadia, and Matt. Uh, well, I say Matt, Matt Berry, he, he's got Laszlo. They're all British in it. Well, they're not British. Well, they, they, are from, they are from the UK, but Nando is a British actor. Um, Nadia, she's also like a British actor. And Matt Berry is Matt Berry. I absolutely adore Matt Berry. He is like the the greatest like comedy actor of all time. Like he is, he just brings so much energy to like the role that he does. Honest God, Matt Berry is just. If I could meet him, I think I would die. I know Nando and um. Guillermo or Harvey, he, he, I can't, Harvey Guillermo, or, or I can't pronounce his last name, um, I can try, but without hearing it, I, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it properly, um, but they're both at the local Comic Con, as a, uh, well not local, they're both at the London Comic Con um, next weekend. I am not going because imagine going to the London Comic Con. It is way too, um, it is, w like, it is so busy. I went there for, like, a day once and, oh my, like, honestly, like, don't think I could do it again. It was just so busy. And to be fair, I went there when the Rooster Teeth they had two of the one guy from Funhouse and one guy from Rooster Teeth there, and um, God, like we we were waiting around for the Rooster Teeth panel. So don't get me started on Rooster Teeth. Life gone so downhill as well, to the point where it physically like makes me upset. Cause I used to love Rooster Teeth, like. We went, to, like, me and my partner and all of our friends, we went to RTX because I made friends with them over cosplaying something. Yeah, Comic Con. Oh, I miss Comic Con. Like, I have. I used to go, like, t to at least two, maybe three a year back, um. Back when I was, um. Before COVID. And now we own a house and everything. <laughs> yeah. I love them, like, especially, like, there's this one, like, Comic Con brand in, in the UK called MCM. And their ones always seem to, like, I've been to other ones. And the other ones always try and get, like, 
get like so many like celebrities to the point where people are only going to meet the celebrities whereas i like going for like the cosplay stuff like i have cosplayed nora valkyrie religiously like before covid like that was like my main go-to cosplay like if i was going to a con i'd cosplay nora valkyrie every su like on the sundays to the point where like i literally like met nora valkyrie's voice actor because she went to one of one of the ones in manchester and it was uh she called me phenomenal and oh my god i think i almost cried and then ruby went downhill and i got like none of our friends cosplay it anymore and comic cons have lost like the fun because we don't hold the meetups and sh shit which makes me very upset you spaghetti i love cosplaying that's the thing like it is so like fun and to be fair i did go to a comic con like like the first one like, i think it was like november last year and i went as power from um chainsaw man but like nobody really came up to me and i was like what also there was no vtuber merch anywhere like have vtubers just not made it over to over here yet i was pretty disappointed because most of the merch i want to put out most of the merch at this comic con was all like hey we have got like people from the vampire diaries so people are bring like vampire diaries merch yeah cosplay is just so fun i miss it dearly i dearly miss it i wish i could cosplay more also half my cos co costumes don't fit anymore because i put on too much weight after um during covid so i kind of need to lose all my weight again yeah merch is ridiculously like comic cons are so overpriced even if you just want to get food they're just so overpriced like 100 percent, like not worth it like if you can like leave the con and go get a mcdonald's instead do that Luckily, the one in Birmingham is, um, like, it's a big, like, place, so they have, like, a Weatherspoons, like, on site, like, in, like, the exhibition place. Or at least two, no, they have, like, two different Weatherspoons, so you can get, like, fairly cheap food there. It's still more expensive than a regular Weatherspoons, but you can still get it. Yeah, Comic-Con... As much as I love it, it's expensive AF. And like me and my partner, if we were going to Comic Con, because it used to be the only way we'd be able to meet up, because we'd go to Comic Con together. And since it was long distance, our relationship, it was like one of the excuses we had to like see each other. So we really had to like, we we always bought like bought the, the hotel room like way in advance, so we put and. We always got like a cheapish one because that was worth doing like but the worst thing is that we were at, like the birmingham one is always like at a like is right close to an airport so you're gonna struggle yeah I, I never took photos of cosplayers unless I really wanted one with them. It was my partner that would take all the photos and be like, hey, can I get a photo of you? Mm hmm It was funny, before COVID, we had, uh, like, a Comic Con that did, like, that did, like, meetups in different cities. And that was nice until we found out that that Comic Con was a bit sketch because, um, the like event organizers or like whatchamacallit they were inviting girls up to like their hotel room and stuff 
like underage girls that is mm-hmm so we don't nobody really goes to those com cons and like one of my friends was like oh I'm working as like a marshal for one of them like I'm volunteering and I'm getting my ticket paid for me and I'm like do you realize the guy who runs that like is a pedophile and that uh, and that you know like the proceeds of this comic con like anything left over gets given to charity and he didn't donate it to charity like he said he was and he never did it and he was like yeah but i get a free ticket and i was like you do you yeah he knew they were under age as well which made it to be fair their cons went great and luckily i never went to one because i was always busy around that time But, um, yeah. But I had a lot of mates that, like, did, like, a lot of, like, the, you know, like, the music video things where they'd, like, take pictures of cosplayers and make them do stuff and it was also, like, music, like, the music videos. I had a load of, I had a few mates that did that. So that was always fun. Like, we did an entire remake of, like, the Kingsman Church fight, but with YouTube, uh, but with cosplayers. Which was like really fun. Wait, can I buy a better? Can I go to the shop? Can I buy a better power washer? Yes, I can. Let's buy it. I don't want that. I want equipment. I want that. I want that. And I want that. There we go. I got myself a better power washer. No wonder it's taking so long. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wait. Let's go. This is so good. I forgot. Oh, yeah. He got an, he got an interview for what? For a comic con or... That's pretty cool. Yeah, my friends are gonna have um, one of them come over for a watch call it to do um, their wedding video, and then it turns out he did some yikes things. So now he's not. They had to get someone else. Because if it's the one thing that I've learned about at least cosplayers like around here, oh, that's cool. If there's one thing I've learned about some cos- like some people who go to comic cons is that it's so hard to be a decent human being apparently. Like apparently being someone who can go to a comic con, uh, it, apparently like the circle of people being decent is not- is not a circle. Some people who go to comic cons are freaking weird and like do yikes stuff. Like, full on, I once went to a comic con and we saw security chasing a guy with a camera. It was like a proper, like, beefy, like, DSLR camera. And he was taking, like, upskirt photos of women. And, like, security, like, were like, give me a camera and stuff like that. And it was like, oh my god. And then, like, people that I know have ended up, like, you know, like, grooming people, and I'm like, I was friends with you, I trusted you, and you're gonna go do this? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. The worst one, I think, is that I had a guy dressed as Evie, and he was, I was looking at, like, Pokemon plushies, bear in mind, I was also, um, like, I was just looking at, like, evolution Pokemon, like, plushies and stuff like that. And he proper, like, came up to me and, like, was like, oh, watch, like, really creepily. And just started going on about Eevee. He was dressed as Eevee. And he just kept going on and 
on and on and then he was like Eevee are the best Pokemon for like XYZ and then started getting like saying creepier and creepier stuff about Eevee and I was just like oh my god like I'm pretty sure that he wanted to like bone an Eevee and again just really creeped me out just genuinely like and I can get, like, a lot of, like, neurodivergent people can go to Comic-Con, but there's some people who should not have gone alone. They should have had a, someone with them to stop them, like, making other people uncomfortable. Like, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to be, like, mean or anything like that, but there's some people that just... Yeah, you get the people who are, like, really intense, and, like, they've been a lot, like... You can tell, like, I want to point out, this guy was in, like, his 30s, maybe, like, late 30s. And he was, like, like, proper, like, talking to everyone about Eevee. And, like, I can get, like, I don't mean, like, if, like, I was with people and I was, like, trying to exit the conversation and he just wasn't, like, letting, like, I was trying to, like, hint that, like, oh, we need to go, like, meet up with friends. And we just, like, he just kept going on and on. Yeah, there's some people that are absolutely lovely that I've met. Like, I have, again, I have made most of my friend group from, from Comic-Con because we all cosplayed the same thing. It, like... And we ended up, like, making a group and, like, then it became a thing where, like, we were, like, a hub for, like, Ruby cosplayers and stuff like that in the UK. We thought it was just going to be, like, a Northwest thing, but then it, like, turned out to be, like, we have people from Scotland and everything. So we would run, like, some of the meet, like, the Sunday meetups for the Ruby, Ruby group. So, like, Saturday would be our day where we are, like, oh, yeah, we're just going to, like, chill, cosplay who we want. And then Sunday was like, okay, it's Ruby Day, we're gonna, like, start doing, we need to focus on the meetups, like, what, like, pairings are we gonna, like, shout out to, like, for, because we went full on, like, these meetups lasted at least an hour. It was, it was great, it was so fun. And then my asshole of a partner had to propose during the one that I was hosting, and I was an absolute mess and couldn't host anymore, so he had to take over. Because, you know... He also didn't tell anyone, so suddenly, like, again, these characters are heavily shipped together, and we've seen, like, jokey proposals at our cons where it's, like, been two guys and stuff like that, like, jokingly proposing. So nobody took it seriously, nobody knew it was actually real, until I started crying. Until I started crying. And then you see our, our like, friends in the background just, like, gasp and, like, drop everything. Like, literally, I saw one of my friends drop their prop. That they were, It was only, like, a fan, but they, like, fully on, like, dropped it and were like, Ugh. So, it was... It was Sutton. I'm still annoyed at him for that. Like, I was supposed to be hosting that meet. But also, I'm not annoyed because we live together now, so... Cannot really be annoyed, can I? Wee. Okay, let's get back to it. Come on. I just want to get the railings done. Okay, let me get underneath this trim as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I somehow managed to, like, struggle to fit a suitcase full of stuff and I'd have to put, like, my props, like, elsewhere. Because I had, like, um, a massive, like, I, I, I cosplayed Nora, but I didn't have her hammer. Yeah. I have seen people do stupid things at cons as well. Like, I had Nora Valkyrie's prop, but it wasn't, like, the hammer version. It was, like, the grenade launcher version, which I always wanted. And, and someone just gave it to me at the middle of the con. Because he was like, yeah, the person who I was supposed to give it to um, didn't turn up. And then I was, like, asking, like, because he, he made it as, like, a prototype just to see if he could. And it, I was, like, asking, I'll be, like, hey. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry. And I was, like, hey, how much would it be for you to make one for me? 
and then the person didn't turn up so he was like here you go and i think i almost cried at that moment as well because comic-con make makes me cry but in a good way Makes me cry, but in a good way. I mean, again, I miss Comic Cons, but they're just not the same. Cause nobody cosplays as the Ruby any as Ruby anymore, just because the show went so downhill. It's gone so bad. And then, like, just, it's just yeah, the shame they had to ruin the show. We did go to RTX once though, and we, like, we were trying to come up with, like, ways that we could do spins on the, um, the characters. So we did the characters as, like, Greek and Roman gods, so we're all sat there in, like, togas, like, and I made, like, a full-on, like, pink lightning bolt, and it was great. I was so proud of that. I was so proud of my, like, little Greek lightning bolt. Like, Zeus-esque. It was great. We got everything done now. Yeah, okay, let's. Oh, we're starting to get graffiti. Let me put that back on the stubby one. So, yeah, I, I do miss Comic Con. We got ones that come in Liverpool and they're just, they try and get like so many different um, actors and then there's, there's only like a tiny amount of stalls so you can get for everything in a day and then they charge more than like, oh no it's okay don't worry. And then they charge a lot more for tickets than like the MCM do. And then you've still got to pay for the, like, the, like, whatchamacallit, the watch, uh, autographs when you're in there. And some of the autographs, they're so bleeding expensive. Like, they had Matt Smith go, and it was, like, a, like almost 200 quid for a photo. Like, I get he's in Game of Thrones now, but he was a doctor first, and he's still British. I don't understand why he needs so much. I want this. There we go. Let me get up a ladder. I'm also just a little bit cynical when it comes to Comic Cons because they're just not the same as they used to. Let's get the ladder and we can do this section. Oh my god, this new power washer is great. Look how like good it is. Let's clean the veranda. So yeah. I have a lot of con stories. I should probably like do a um a whatchamacallit like a, a story time video at one point like things i highly recommend like packing if you can pack a bottle of water pack a bottle of water like and maybe like a few snacks because it is expensive make sure you've got cash on you because not ev most stores now they do take like they do take card but some like some of them still don't 
hand sanitizer and most like i would have said that even before covid but like doubly now hand sanitizer and take that and like one of the cons i went to it was like literally just before lockdown so covid was like a thing but it was like very like not everywhere and they had like this gaming station and there was no hand sanitizer they only had like about three four hand sanitizer pumps throughout the entire venue and yeah there was none by the gaming stuff and literally like it was disgusting like some of the controllers you could tell like sweaty ass people have been on them and like you know when like a lot of people use something and you can see like the little like dead skin like has like balled into like little gray blobs there was that all over all freaking over the um controllers and i felt like i was gonna vom i felt like i was gonna throw up i won't lie there was like no need like wash your hands mate I think at that point there was only like three confirmed cases in the UK so it was like very early like pre-lockdown and then Animal Crossing came out and I lost 500 hours of my life that year I lost so much of my life. I think I must have put about 12 hours in the first day I got that game. I ain't complaining, I absolutely love that game. The only reason I got a Switch is literally like the only reason I get Nintendo consoles is because I knew Animal Crossing's coming out on them. And then I got, I was like asking my dad for the Wii U when it came out and they never brought out Animal Crossing. And I think I, I was so upset. Welcome back. Yeah, I was so upset when I got the Wii U and, like, because I, I did love the Wii U, like, I had some great games on it, but it wasn't, there was no Animal Crossing. And that made me very upset. Okay, let's go on the ladder. Wah! Did, did the Uwu work? Did the uwu work? Let me just check. Did the uwu work? I will do another uwu. I think it all came through at the same time. Bonk. Ah. Have I accidentally got two bonks up? Oh, yeah, the uwu did work. My favourite one is... um. Oh, what was that one? Hydrate. Oh, yeah. But my hydrate at the moment is with pink lemonade Lucasaid. I hope you don't mind. And there we go. I should really need a toilet, but you know what? That can wait a half an hour. Um, my favorite one is um. So I need to remove dark mode because dark mode doesn't work right now. Um, where is it? Where is it? It's this one. This is my favourite one. Wah! I got hit by a truck. It's a kide. It's truck gun. That's my like favourite one. I need to make more but I don't have ideas. And ideas would really help. Ideas would really help. Also, that community goal still hasn't been done. I'm sorry. I am a lazy baby. I still need to do that. I set that year, like probably over a year ago and it's still just been there. I should maybe do another one. By another one, I mean um, set a new community goal. Maybe if I set it how higher and do. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I should. I'm, I'm a water nymph. I'm not a fish. I do like the fish though. I, I oh, I need to make a bother fish one so that I can have Bob thrown at me. Because we we love Bob. 
and it would make the noise of like the puffer fish noise it goes Ugh. yeah that 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 would be a plan I'm not fish. I'm not fish. I'm baby. I'm baby. I'm baby. I'm baby. There we go. Oh, can I get away with using the 30 degree, the 25 degrees on this one? Yes, I can. Let's go. It's so much more powerful, this gun. I'm so happy it still doesn't... Still doesn't get rid of the lichen. I wonder if you can see the volcano from here. No, you can't see the volcano. There is apparently a volcano somewhere. I saw it at the playground. Let's do the garage roof. I need to get all the lichen off because. Do not want the lichen. I, you know what, I, I, I bought the game because I got videos, like YouTube videos of a guy power washing like an actual like playground and I was like, I should get that game actually. Because like every like March, or, like at, there's a game store and they have like a membership thing where like you get extra points and stuff. But if you don't, and you have to pay like, it's like three pounds a month or something like that. And if you don't um get all the points, use all the points you get the money back now i hardly shop there like because unless it's a very niche game that i want that it doesn't sell where because i where i work they do a few games and it's very rare i buy switch games so i was like trying to like look for a game and i was just like why don't i get steam vouchers and then i can stream with the money because they gave me 36 pounds back and then i for my birthday you get five pounds so I was like, well that makes so much sense. I will just do that. So I got that like 40 pounds of like Steam credit that I essentially got for free. We stand a good deal. Oh, I've McFallen! Give me, give me the long boy. Oh, look at all. That was so satisfying. Can I just sit here and do this? I thought I got you. But can I just do the side of this from here? So we. Did you hear that weird rumbling noise? Is that the volcano that I was talking about? Also, well, long Jenny. <laughs> Jenny put the washer on spin. Wow. Let us go back to the stubby gun so that we can get some like up close action. Let's get rid of that dirt and that grime. 
Okay, we got that. We na 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 na. Let's get the thirty out. I mean the twenty five. Sorry, it's fifteen twenty five. I don't know why I keep thinking it's like twenty and like thirty. Get the lichen off, please. Let's go to 20 just to be a bit more. Yeah, boy. Maybe if I put like the, the, the short extension, I can still. Yeah, that's good. That is great. We got this. I wonder how much we can do of this before I have to go. Because my sister is coming around for tea. And I love my little sister, she's great. I once, when I first started streaming, she was about five. I was getting in the shower, but like she wanted to stay in my bedroom. So what I did is um, I pretended to. I said I pretended that she was streaming, but I just like recorded it, just because she could tell like the, like the little record button, and I put Fall Guys on for her, and um, so she was pretending to stream Fall Guys, and it was the cutest thing ever. Like I gave her a fake model, like one of, like the the default preset models, and she sat there recording, pretending she's like a streamer, and it was the most. The, the most wholesome thing is that she didn't realise, she didn't know how to quit out after she lost the first round, so she sat there commentating on, like, the the rounds that are going on. She's like, I'm not in this one. And then I'm like, I, I sneak in behind it, and I'm like, oh, you've got to finish. And then she signs off like a YouTuber, and she's like, and then she's like, don't forget to subscribe and follow, and, and it was, it was the cutest thing. Honest to God. Honest to God, the cutest thing. Wait, does that, that wall attaches to here? There we go. How come the, the fence is fine, but the rest of it isn't? Oh God, I'm stuck. Oh, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fixed, it's fixed. we can clean without moving jiggling the mouse okay we got a good amount Almost on the garage roof. So I've got all this lichen to go. We. Yes, garage roof is clean. We should probably do some small bits. So we've got the entirety of the front of the house done now, apart from the big roof. So maybe we should start on this side, yes. Let's get the, the long extension. Stick the 30 on there. Oh, I've still got the short one. The long extension, please.
There we go. We. Ain't nobody got time to. Ain't nobody got time to climb a ladder. Yeah. And we do the chimney. I might have to get on top to the chimney. Oh. Point glass that. There we go. How far can I get up? Oh, well, that was pretty far. Yes, I can get up the chimney pretty high. There we go, got the graffiti off. Oh, I can... We Let's do this wall. We can always get the ladder if needs be. Probably will need it for probably will need it for what you call I'm my brain just spaced out then. Um we will definitely need it for like the top section. clean. Let me get the, the sprit clean. Come on, give me, give me that clean brick. Oh, that clean trim. Oh yeah, that, that, um, I forgot to do this bit here. No, I have done that bit. Okay, sweet. Can I go get the ladder for this chimney? I lost Mr. Ladder. Give me a lad. Do, 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 do. I wanna do the laddy lad lad. Bum, 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 bum. I wanna clean the whole chimney. Da, 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 da. There we go. Chimney cleaned. Let's go. Put that there. Let's put it on the stubby one. We. Oh, new job available. Nice. Let me just clear these steps. Do I just like... Am I just called everything? Okay, careful how you go around the volcano. So there is a volcano, I was right. There is a volcano. A UFO? What? There's a volcano and a UFO? Okay, let's just get all this decking down. Also... Oh wait, can I draw a smiley face? We, we, we. Yay, smiley face. I just still don't understand how. How? 
why 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 is it so dirty why guess I have done that with brick let's get the deck into the porch Can someone recreate this house in the Sims space? I reckon this would be such a nice house. Such a nice Sims house. Yes, porch deck and cleaned. The cleaning is going well. I'm at 65%. So I'm probably going to do this, this back wall here. Hi. Hi, Agreeable. I'm Neffy. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Let me just have some look at it. How are you doing today? It is nice to meet you. I'm Nephi, I'm a water nymph for Lake Nyad. And I'm cleaning with water. Hope oh, uh, I, I laugh that go and I probably shouldn't. There we go. We're gonna be cleaning this house up. There we go. We We're probably, I'm probably only gonna go for about 10 more minutes, so you have came for like the back end of the stream. I'm really sorry. I'm not a fish. I'm a naiad. I'm a lake nymph from Greek mythology. I'm from Greek mythology! <laughs> I'm from Greek mythology. There we go. Yeah, can we clean the door, please? There we go. The door's clean. Now let's clean the window. On the wall. Okay, we clean the wall. Now let's clean the window. I feel like power washing a window would be, um would like break the glass but you know what do i know not a lot yay let's do what we can right here try and clean these <laughs> Me. I... I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. You can't bully me. I'm just a baby. There we go. Okay, that's one angle of the fences done. Now I need to do this angle. We I need to do this side of the pole. There we go, the pole's done. Is the railing done? No, it's still not done. There we go, now that's done. And there's so much that needs cleaning. Okay, let's do it. You can kind of hear the, um, uh, you guys, oh, you guys probably can slightly hear the rumbling in the background from the, what I have here to think is a volcano. Let's do this angle. We. Do the underneath section. There we go. And we still got this bit to do. I need to do this. All right, no, stop. Hammer time. Okay, let me move that to over there so that I can focus on this bit. There we go. We. Yeah, boy.
Okay, we've got the battery done. Now, uh, how many? I've got five minutes left. I can still. We. See if I can do the rest of the porch, but not the roof. Maybe if I put the long extension on, that'll help. Yeah. Now I don't have to move. I somehow accidentally, like, selected the chimney top so it's just flashing the entire time whoops okay can i just sit here and just vibe yes i can Whee. Have I forgotten one side of the porch? Probably. I have probably forgotten. Have I forgotten this side of the porch? No, have I forgotten this side of the porch? Yes. Yes, I have. Oh, this is also counted as the porch. Rip. Let's see if we can do it with a 30 degree on a stubby. Yeah, 30 degree seems to be working pretty well. It's getting the bird poop off. Okay, porch is done. Let's go. You can probably do this section deck quick as well. You can probably do this section. That is good to hear. Yay! I'm just cleaning. Like, I haven't done enough of this today. We had to clean the kitchen before, like, put all the dishes away because we left them out last night. We're washing a semi-detached house. Ooh la la. No, no, no. It's attached. Is it a... Hold on. Detached house. That's what we're cleaning. We're cleaning a detached house. Semi-detached is when it's two houses together. It is tough. And I do have to, like, go pretty shortly. Because I need to get ready to go pick my sister up from school. She finishes at three, which is in half an hour. Oh, I got this. I got this. I can like speed run. I'm not gonna be able to finish the whole house before the end of the stream now, but I could at least maybe do this. Do this section. We. I can do at least this wall. Maybe if I put the short extension on. There we go. I can at least do this wall. That's what I can at least do. Whee. Also, the whole Discord username thing is supposed to be coming out and I still, I made my account in 2016 and I have still not been asked what my username is and I'm having an existential crisis because like, do I make it my, my VTubing name? Do I use my regular username? I don't know anymore. I don't know what I want. Let's clean this window, please. This is a probably a bathroom window or something. Oh. You can do this section as well. We. Let's 
Let's clean the bricks and the trim. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that I can do before I have to like leave. Apart from maybe woo. Oh, I know. That was the wrong one. This one. I can say bye! I can say bye, guys! <laughs> I can say bye! -bye. <laughs> there we go. Let me let me go to this one. Oh hello, that was a bit weird. Let me let me quit the game. My laptop is very toasty right now. Very, very toasty. <laughs> um ooh, let me check my WhatsApp because I've probably had a few messages there. I have got at least two notifications. Whoops. Um It did go well today. I am, I am, I have had a good time. I finished three out of the four days this weekend, which is very good. I, I am really trying to stream more often. I'm gonna see how it goes for like the next month and hopefully I can stream more often. I won't be streaming next Monday because we're going out shopping um, to like the big, the big mall in the next city over. So that's gonna be fun. They have a really nice dessert place called Dolce and I'm very excited for it. So, um... But yeah, I am... I am going to head off. I'm just going to check one or two things dead quickly. Ooh woo! <laughs> oh, there's no one really streaming. Oop. I will see you guys all, um... Friday then, I shall be streaming Friday. I shall see you guys. Okay, bye bye everybody! <laughs>